She is known for being a French author and woman of letters who excelled in various artistic fields. She was a talented mime, actress, and journalist. Recognized for her notable works such as the novella, Gigi, and the short story collection, The Tendrils of the Vine, her name is Sidney Gabrielle Collette. In the realm of literature, one name stands out, Sidney Gabrielle Collette, more commonly known as Colette. Hailing from France, Colette was a multi-talented individual, excelling as an author, mime, actress, and journalist. Her contributions to the literary world have left an indelible mark, captivating readers across generations. Colette's fame reached its zenith in the English-speaking world with her 1944 novella, Gigi. This enchanting tale served as the inspiration for the renowned 1958 film and the equally beloved 1973 stage adaptation that shared its name. The story of a young girl's journey towards independence and self-discovery resonated deeply with audiences, cementing Colette's reputation as a master storyteller. Another noteworthy work by Colette is her collection of short stories, The Tendrils of the Vine, which has become a literary treasure in France. These captivating tales showcase Colette's skill in delving into the complexities of human relationships, exploring themes of love, desire, and the intricacies of the human heart. Colette's literary contributions have had a profound impact on the world of literature. Her works continue to inspire and captivate readers, offering profound insights into the human experience. Colette's legacy as a literary trailblazer serves as a reminder of the power of storytelling and the enduring significance of her contributions to the field of literature. In the 1920s, Colette, a renowned French writer, achieved one of her greatest literary feats with the publication of her novel, Sherry. This captivating story depicted a forbidden love affair between an older woman and a much younger man. The protagonist, Leah, a wealthy courtesan, is left heartbroken when her lover, Sherry, decides to marry a woman his own age. However, their paths cross again, and Leah experiences both joy and sorrow during their final encounter. During this time, Colette's personal life went through its own ups and downs. Her marriage to Juvenal ended in divorce due to his infidelity in her affair with her 16-year-old stepson, Bertrand de Juvenal. In 1925, she met Maurice Goudquet, who would become her final husband. Their relationship lasted until Colette's death. The 1920s and 1930s marked Colette's most productive and innovative period as a writer. Her works, set in Burgundy or Paris during the Belle Époque, delved into the complexities of married life and sexuality. Drawing inspiration from her own experiences, novels like Sherry and Le Bli and Her explored the theme of love between older women and younger men, mirroring her relationships with Bertrand de Juvenal and her husband Goudquet, who was 16 years her junior. Additionally, her novel, La Naissance du Jour, provided a poignant critique of societal expectations placed upon women, expressed through the character of her mother, Cito, and her renunciation of love. Colette's talent as a writer was widely recognized during this time, earning her the title of France's greatest woman writer. Critics praised her ability to capture the essence of three lives without relying on a traditional plot. Janet Flanner praised Colette's genius, humanity, and impeccable prose in her review of Cito, noting the shift from previous scorn to admiration. During the 1920s, Colette had a close association with Elissa Reyes, a Jewish Algerian writer who adopted a Muslim persona to market her novels. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.